All right, I'm here with my jumper T light custom remixed from uh thingiverse m o s c h underscore a i believe is the og creator of this show i could be wrong maybe he remixed it but yeah i'm not gonna pull it up right now and go look but uh it's a pretty dope controller it's like a tx16s and a tbs mambo had a baby a short baby a short thin baby because <laughs> that mambo was a little bit thick and it, i mean the tx16s is the ts16s um my buddy gave me his his extra gimbal springs from his tx16s they're twice as long as the jumper T springs, so I cut them in half and looped the ends around on one side, and now they feel great. Next time I open them up, I might throw a little bit of grease in there or something to smooth it out just a touch, but way better than it's been for the past month. I was flying it, flying it in uh, this shell right here which the switches were in the front and I was always accidentally hitting them since I pinch but uh we'll see I got some other stuff in mind for it that I'll uh, figure out but I got the multi protocol module on the inside express LRS so I'm able to fly everything that I own now Whereas before, all I could fly was my Express LRS stuff. And, uh, HTX. The original light cover from the Jumper T fits in there, no problems. The original switches from the Jumper T. Even these ones will fit from the original Jumper T, but these you'll have to 3D print because the jumper T they're like a triangular or something like that. But not too bad. Uh, if anybody's interested, like I said, I'm gonna put some AGL one gimbals in there. I'm gonna open it up and add a couple more batteries so I can get a few more hours out of it. But yeah, man, the five inch on my last outing on the adventures of, yeah, my last outing UFL came out in that crash just outside. The pin is still there. Can actually take it about 25, 50 yards before it starts to rainbow on you. But as I discovered, I'll get a little heat station, some UFO, UFL replacements. If uh, I can't get it, you know, I'm gonna try and get in touch with HD zero email and see if I can't send it in for repairs or whatever, pay for it that way. <clears throat> Before I go messing with stuff, even though, I mean, I solder, I was an electrician for nine years in the Navy. So it's whatever, I can solder pretty well. But that was my last outing. Uh, GoPro's on its last legs. I did this in the long kiss goodnight. The first, <clears throat> all of this I did on the very first FPV video I ever did with a GoPro that I posted on YouTube. Uh, but that last crash kind of warped the door. So now the battery, I think the battery's just barely coming up causing the camera to pause or cut off or freeze or whatever I could probably get away with just putting a cushion or something in there and it'd be all right but I got the GoPro subscription so when I got the extra cash I'll send this bad boy off and get me a refurbished or a new one for 80 bucks it's not not a big deal but I I had a DJ action too and it's great for the weight but man it don't look nothing like this yeah that 4k super view <laughs> is 60 no stay Ooh, yeah 
Tote. So, I guess I will spend my time flying the three inch in my spare time. I do wish I had that DJ action now, but it had that one major flaw. I couldn't get the, I couldn't get nothing off of it without the touchscreen module. And I had the battery and all of the touchscreen modules were out of stock. And I just wanted them to pay 500 bucks to get that other screen. When you could get the one with the battery, I got mine for like $230. But in the meantime, since I got my controller running all my protocols and all of that, and it's all put together and good to go, I will be doing my race scout stuff. I've been spending the last few weeks just kind of watching people's laps and seeing what kind of approach people been taking to it and whatnot. And I've practiced it. I've probably put 20 packs in on the track, but my living room is not wide enough it's long enough but it's not wide enough for me to like get into some of these orbits for the ladder and whatnot comfortably without uh smacking the wall or something else in my living room yeah the whoops is all good to go so like i said maybe i'll just do it on my back my back patio or my buddy's house but he said he actually talked to the youth center around here and they will give us the gym for four to six hours for 40 bucks. So I'm going to hit Facebook up, see if there's some other flyers in the area. People want to toss in five and bring whatever gates you got. I got all the gates needed for the race scout stuff, all the PVC. So we can set up some tracks, give everybody like 20, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes a piece to do race guy if they want to do that and spend the rest of the time racing, freestyling, talking FPV, whatever. But yeah, it's been a FPV struggle <laughs> these past couple weeks. And uh, some of these days have been really nice and I just haven't been able to fly to five inch. So my feelings are a little bit hurt in that regard. As I had some amazing footage, I door dash in the evening and I'm always in places I just wouldn't regularly go or be at, you know, and I'll see these schools, churches, banks and stuff, you know, the architecture, the awnings and walkways, breezeways and stuff. And uh, what I was doing was if I seen a place, I would just stop, hook my stuff up real quick and go rip a pack and then get back to whatever I was doing. And I had probably eight awesome rips, new tricks and stuff I had been working on or just decided to finally try in real life, quad be damned, you know, and uh, transfer them all over onto my tablet. <laughs> it's like three in the morning. I went to format the GoPro and ended up formatting the damn memory card on the tablet. So lost all of that, except for maybe two, two or three. I'm gonna upload one of them, but it's the uh, it was one of the first ones I did, which was one of the worst ones I did. But it's still pretty cool footage. But man, I was hurting when I when I realized what I did. <laughs> Trying to dig through the trash on the damn. Uh, on the tablet in the memory card section, you know, seeing if it was in the trash. Ah, every time I need something, it's not there. I'll delete some other stuff and it'll still be in there. Not this though. It hurt bad. It hurt real bad, y'all. But yeah. Um, that's pretty much what I've been up to. But this has been, this has been a solid project. Jumper T light V2, 60 bucks. I'm gonna wait till the holidays or a holiday. Maybe we'll get a sale on RDQ or something and I'll uh, be able to snag one for like 40 bucks or something, 45, 50 bucks, something like that. And I will build another one of these with the 
tweaks and stuff I've been working on for the V2 anyway. Some AG01 and some other stuff that I know that I did on this one and that I still plan to do to this one, but uh, I'll record it. I got pictures of everything, you know, for reference when I'm going through stuff anyway, but if anybody's interested, I mean, I guess just let me know in the comments and <clears throat> maybe I'll get to it quicker than I would initially, but I'm uh, torn on it whether I'm gonna buy a HD Zero one watt VTX so I can get back to flying the five inch, you know, while the weather's still weather's still nice, gonna be nice here for the next few months, or buy the AG01 gimbals. I could always just buy a you know a one watt analog VTX. I could still get footage with the GoPro or whatever on the five inch, but yeah, this thing has been a blast to work on and I'm finally done. I'm real pleased with it. I'm pleased with myself. <laughs> but now nah, I let a couple of buddies mess with this thing and hold it and stuff. They love it too, so. Great feel. You know, Edge 2.5, multi-protocol, Express LRS. Balance is pretty good as well. But uh, yeah, I'm still keeping my eye out for the race scout stuff, watching people's runs and whatnot. And I will probably be starting mine up here in the next few days. Hopefully we can get something figured out with, with the youth center and they'll let us hold the gym a couple nights a week if people can, if anybody in the area flies and wants to come through. But even if not me and my buddy are probably just put down 20 and go up in there I'm sure if people stop by and see what we're doing, they're going to want to fly anyway. Because everybody that sees me flying always, they'll sit around and watch me fly three or four packs and then start asking me questions. So, But anyway, everybody stay up. 